Hello, I'm in this video we really want to make sure that we focus on some stretching and make sure that our muscles have loosened up really well. We have our hip flexor muscle that we want to work on opening up and lengthening that and then also down to the, the front of the, the thigh, the quadricep muscle. So we're just going to get a, a nice position here where we sort of line up that hip right over the knee and then as we're in that spot we're already can feel that we're getting some stretching down the front of the hip, on the outside of the hip, front of the hip, and then down into the, the thigh muscle, the quadriceps, of the four muscles that go on the front. So again, we're just kind of making sure that our ankle to knee alignment is looking good, and we, as we feel that stretch, we're just gonna sort of hold into it a little bit and engage it, engage the stretch, engage the feel of the muscle here, keep your, your back side, hip and hamstring, calf, in a nice alignment and then slowly we're going to go a little bit more forward and just open that up if we really get tight in that hip flexor as we sit as we uh, whenever we're not standing or we're just sitting that sort of tightens up in the front here so we're getting a good position on it a good amount of time to engage that muscle and to feel like we can loosen that up again making sure that from even here down to the thigh we're feeling that stretch right in there. Now I'm gonna turn around, we can switch legs as we just worked on that one. So again, I'm gonna sort of set up, getting the alignment, the hip here over the knee, and then making sure the ankle and the knee have a nice alignment. And then I'll start to feel. Now, one side might feel a little bit uh, tighter than the other, right? So again, we're just getting in that position. We're gonna increase that stretch a little bit, get in that position where we can feel, again, the, the back is in a good spot. Focus on that, engaging that muscle, lengthening that muscle, letting that fascia, that's connective tissue in there, letting that open up, and getting that hip to gain some opening, some flex and mobility to it. Wanna make sure it's mobile on both sides equal. Now, of course, like I said, this side for me seems a little bit easier, not as much stress from here down into the, the thigh muscle. And that means I just need to make sure I'm paying attention and getting that right side daily to make sure that it stays open and keeps its mobility. Now, after we've done that one, we're going to go ahead and get a nice stretch for the lower back. So let's come on down. And as we follow again, making sure that our ankles, knees, everything lined up well. And then I'm gonna go ahead, set my upper back a little bit, and then I'm gonna stretch back into that lower back. And open up that lower back, sitting back, lengthening the top of the hip. Now this is the back side. And engage that muscle. Feel that muscle engage. Feel that nice length of the muscle. And then we breathe normally with good, you know, good breath, inhalation, exhalation, nice and smooth, just as we did with the hip flexor. And stretch out the lower back for a nice stretch. So that's our series for the front of the hip and the lower back. Make sure you repeat those daily, especially if you find any imbalances. And, and make sure that they are they're getting the same mobility and positioning so that everything works really well properly on the front side to back side of the hip. All right, thank you so much.